On the JD show this morning, uh, a guy that I've wanted to meet for a long time, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alan Carr! Woo! Woo! Uh, you I, really wanted to meet I me. did. You mate, lie. I, I am a big fan of yours. Out I d- <laughs> Would I sound sad if I said that I've got your DVD and your book? Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you pay full price or was it on a in a dodgy Oxfam? dodgy car boot sale? He probably oh. nicked it from work. Really? Oh, that's nice. That makes me feel special. <laughs> <laughs> Is it one of those ones in the pub DVDs? <laughs> one of those. Do- dodgy Dave. Yeah, yeah, Dodgy Dave. Yeah. yeah, and as you can see, people standing up in the theatre, walking in front of it. <laughs> How are you anyway? Good. I really like the good. shirt, by the way. Very really similar. Escaping at the breasts. Don't you hate it when shirts do that? I know. I've got a tr- and I was saying, wasn't I, to lovely Alison over here, I was saying that um, they get bigger as the day goes on. What and so the- he's quite snug at the beginning. And then by the end, I'm like Jordan in Ibiza. Oh, I, I think you look really well. Really? Yeah, I do, actually. Well as in you've got fat or well as in healthy. Well, that's two ways, isn't there? You look really well. You've put on weight. No, I think you've actually lost weight. Really? Yeah. Oh. You look a little bit bigger than that on the telly. Switch through. But you look good now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Thank you. Have you been dieting or? No, I will join Weight Watchers. How's that going? It's really good. But obviously, I didn't put my name on the website because I don't (laughs) think. Alan Alan Carr says. No, so I'm a a 58 year old um, housewife called Pam. Which probably does mess up how much weight I need to lose. But I'm not having them seeing me eating death by chocolate for breakfast, you know what I mean? So, you on the points thing? Yeah. How many are you allowed a day? 40 points. Right, okay. But the trouble is I'm on Fridays because <laughs> I keep eating. <gasps> right. I oh, no, and I can't wait for, like, midnight because then you get a whole new 40 points. And you just use them in the first hour? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like Friday. Do you think you meant to do it like that, though? Or? Well, I'm hoping, like, uh, uh, no, not really. <laughs> But I mean, listen, I'm desperate. I'm starving. I'm starving now. What, what, I'm what looking at you and I'm licking my lips. <laughs> <laughs> that's how hungry I am. Wow. Oh. I must really? be hung- I'm, yeah, that's how, like I said, that's how hungry I am. Anyway, Alan, I'll pop anything in my mouth. <laughs> First time we've met, right, and you've got like a local connection with this because obviously we broadcast to Nuneaton and your dad was manager of Nuneaton. Do you yeah. remember visiting Nuneaton? I went and saw Muhammad Ali there. In, hang on, in Nuneaton? Yeah. He opened the new um, ground. Oh, and did he? he? It was amazing. And I've got this picture of me with Muhammad Ali. Right. In Nuneaton? Nuneaton. You ask anyone who's a Nuneaton Borough fan. Right. And it was there, yeah. And I nearly fell through the stand. What happened? Uh, is it still, it's still there because I went back there to do a TV show which never made the light of day. They've done it up a little bit. It's called the Triton something. Yeah, it's a lot grander. Yeah, yeah no, but I, I fell down. I fell through the floor and the top back of the stand. Oh, dear. I was dangling there like, um, you know, Harold Lloyd when he's hanging on that. Harold <laughs> Lloyd. Like that, honestly. Me life but you're all right. before me You eyes. live to fight another day. Yeah, but fancy dying in Nuneaton. I uh, no. Not a place you want to die in. No, I don't. No. Now, what have you been up to? Because obviously you did uh, the Friday Night Project with Justin Lee Collins. Yeah. Uh, is that going to happen again? Well, he's with Channel 5 and I'm with Channel 4. Oh, rival. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, but... Um, Do you take the mic and go, hi, you're on the rubbish channel? No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Ha ha. I also go to the QVC studios and go, ha ha, QVC, <laughs> I'm on Channel 4. No, I don't. So is, is Friday Night Project coming back or are we going to see more no, Chatty Man? I, I, that Chatty Man's coming back in June. It's going to come back, I think that's for another two years. Right. Uh, yeah. who, who was your favourite guest on that? Because I, I did notice when you had Jordan, Katie Price on, I felt a bit of... Well, I think that Jordan is a... She's a weird thing, really. I mean, socially... She's a weird she's thing. She's a weird thing. <laughs> no, she's not a thing. <laughs> I like her, but I don't... But I think when she's on when she's on the TV show, I think she has to be careful because she has to sell these magazine deals. Yeah, yeah. Things. Yeah. So she doesn't give anything away because she's thinking, no, hold that back. Mm. That That's for go- OK. That's for OK magazine. Which is so kind of clever in a way, isn't it? It, she's it is very clever, clever, but absolutely boring <laughs> if you're interviewing her. But, I mean, I just wish she'd let her hair down. But I think I think the way she's been treated in the paper and everyone's turn, I think she's a bit guarded. I wish she'd let her hair down. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I like I do like her, and I like Alex Reid, but I know you're not meant to say that. You'd go, boo. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I just wish they let their hair down more in interviews. Mm-hmm. Right, why don't you hang around with us? We're going to actually rip off Chatty Man oh, right good, here this morning. Good. Um, so if you hold there, we've got a special guest we want to introduce you to. Oh, my God.
It's the JD Show on Mercia, joined by Mr. Alan Carr, who, who, who wants a glass of wine and some breakfast. He's hungry. Uh, no, glass of wine's three points. Oh, you can't have a glass of wine. <laughs> and that's a small one. Right, so you know you do Chatty Man. Why are you just regarding my diet? Because I can't give you what you want. Cake. <laughs> Oh, we'll see. Actually, the, the next woman you're about to meet might be able to bake you on. She's got cake. So instead of Chatty Man, we're going to do Chatty Nan. Oh, oh come on, Nan. What a rubbish idea. <laughs> this is Sheila. Uh, Everybody uh, say hello uh, to Sheila. Hello, Sheila. You can talk, Sheila. She's, it's okay. You can talk. Really Sheila, is she a mute? <laughs> she's like going, she's, her mouth's going, nothing's coming out. Chatty so, Nan, but you, you're not a mute. So, oh, you're not. You're, oh, of course. You're oh, oh, look, she's been dying to meet you. Oh, I love you too. Come on, so, yeah. Don't cry, Sheila. She's gonna cry. Sheila, oh, you're my not love. crying. Yeah. This is you're like love. me when I lost all my Weight Watchers points. <laughs> I was in bits. Well, I was going to say it must be my widescreen television. You're so slim. So toned and oh, so she's gorgeous. Great. Get a room. And now, wow. oh my God. Oh, now she's putting her glasses on. <laughs> she's, there, she's put her glasses on to read. No, it's to see you. Now she's like, God, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, so, so, we're mooing, no. We've completely ripped off your show because you know normally it's you I doing. I think I ripped it off as oh, well. Okay. <laughs> so normally you asking the question. So we thought we'd get a chatty nan. This is Sheila. She lives in Cowden in Coventry. Oh no! Nice. How many grandkids you got? Three. Three. There you go. And you've got loads of questions that you really wanted to ask Alan. Yes, I. Have. Here's our chatty nan. No, she's Alan. got my glasses on as well. Are they <laughs> your glasses? Or you wear them as a prop. No, oh, they're mine. They're mine. They're mine. All oh, right. Right then. I wanted to ask you if I was your grandma. Yeah. Where would you take me out for the day? Oh. oh. Where would I take you out? With my Zimmer friend. With your Zimmer friend. <laughs> well, obviously, some something with parking, so you can put that. <laughs> I take you to the Ritz and treat you like a woman. Oh, what day? <laughs> Oh, my Lord, this is serious. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm turning into a hostage situation. Um, <laughs> this is yes, embarrassing for everyone yeah, involved. Yeah, yeah, you, did, you just said questions. You didn't say it was been more than that. It's like a pyramid scheme I've got involved in. Yeah, I'd take you to the Ritz and we'd have cream tea and strawberries and champagne. Would you like that? Oh, I'd love it. You'd be a bit tipsy on your Zimmer frame on Hang the way on, home. She's though, losing it now. Sheila, back on with your questions. She's she gone all moist. Sorry. <laughs> In the Alan, eyes. Every boy or every child has got a hero. Who was yours when you were growing up? Who was my hero? Yeah. Oh, that's a tough one. Who was my hero? Who was your hero? Didn't you have one? I'm asking the question. Oh! <laughs> you can cancel that risk, <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. <laughs> who was my hero? Oh, it was me. He Man. I like He Man and the Masters of the Universe. You sure you didn't like She Ra? She I did like She Ra, yeah. <laughs> she Ra and Snarf. Snarf! <laughs> yeah. Come on, Nan. Come on, Chatty Nan. <laughs> You don't have to take your glasses off every time you ask a question. Have you I seen see, that? She's going I like, can see you better. <laughs> Am I slim? Fat, <laughs> slim. You're fat, slim. slim. You're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Fat, slim. You're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Stop and flirting, Nan. Get on with the yeah. question. You're so barking up the wrong tree, right. chatty Nan. <laughs> your show. That's right. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. It's your oh. stand-up comedy. Hilarious. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> and I love your father. You love my father? Yes. He sounds a character. <laughs> Sorry but about this. He was obviously very disappointed when you didn't sort of, st you weren't a future Fo footballer. I know, guest. I know, I know. How do your parents feel about your success today? I mean, he's still a little bit disappointed. You know, it's he wants it's my dream, you know, to be a you know a footballer, and I just, I just know that I think there was a mix-up at the hospital. You know, I think. <laughs> I think there's some hairdresser crying having to shut his salon because the kid's gone off to be a footballer. <laughs> <laughs> he's so proud of me. He's really, he's genuinely proud. You know what I mean? It's all worked out for the best. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know what I mean? I think he's really pleased for me. Well, the no. thing is, you're making millions now by doing TV shows and you've, of course, got the tour coming up. As oh, well. yes, Bexy Beast, yeah. Are you doing a, a lot of kind of intimate gigs before you did do the big arenas, aren't you? Yeah, you have to. You have to try all the stuff, all the jokes, because obviously, you know, I'd, I'd rather die on my bum in John O'Groats than in front of the, <laughs> you know, Birmingham. Do you know what I mean? But you have to try it all out. But yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So you come into Birmingham on the 1st and the 2nd of October, the yeah, NIA. Yeah, can't yeah, can't wait. Um, I, no, you... I'm not just saying it, but I love Brummie audiences. Why? They just... 
get it. And I think people give them stick because of the accent and everything, but they're so comedy literate. The Birmingham Glee is one of my favourite places and I still... Um, you know, I still would love to play there, but it's just fitting it all in. But, I mean, um, I always had a lovely time there and they were always so loving. They, they love a story, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They enjoy it. But that's it. what your your kind of stand-up's all about. You tell really good stories. Yeah, yeah, stories that have happened and stuff. And yeah, and that, they like it. And yeah. what's what can we expect on the tour? Give us a little teaser. A little teaser? Well, haven't you written it yet? It's all funny. No, no, it's it's just about me. It's observational stuff that's happened to me. I had the funniest put down ever in Birmingham. I mean, I was doing some comparing and I said, this man, I said, what do you do for a living? He said, oh, I'm an ambulance driver. I said, oh, I said, what's the worst thing you've seen? He said, you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so I had to laugh. I couldn't go, ah. <laughs> but no, I had to laugh. On that note, Alan, it's been a pleasure having you on the JD oh, Show. Can we thank, thank Chatty Nan as Chatty well? Chatty Nan, you were wonderful. Oh, she, look, she wants to get another question. You can ask him off the radio, Chatty Nan. Uh, Alan, thank you very much for being part of the JD Show. Oh, anytime. Best of luck with the tour. Thank you. And we you. hope to see you soon. Look how excited Come Chatty, on, Chatty Nan is. Nan, let's go to the Ritz. <laughs> yeah. Not unless you do one of the intimate gigs at Chatty Nan's house. Anyway, <laughs> I've got to go. You've got to go. You've got to go. Time fly. <laughs> Mercia. Made. Made for Coventry and Warwickshire.